not off 112. So, if you were watching earlier, you will have seen the 10 minute very short conclusion to Airport Firefighter Simulator. And I feel very bad for conning you out of a full episode's length, particularly when uh, firefighting videos were promised. So, I will jump on to not off 112. One, because I feel bad, and two, because I've had a bit of a hankering to play it recently, actually. Um, and we'll do a couple of calls here. So a few updates have come in. For those of you who don't quite remember, I've also got the uh, Ket, Ket, Kef DLC, um, which is some kind of light rescue type thing that Germany has. Um, and yeah, it's just a case of waiting for some calls to come in. So we will keep fit by doing some laps. Why not? Right guys, we've got a call. that's not in use. Okay, so we're going to be the machinist of the DLK33 here. Let's just get on. Things are a little bit hectic. Okay, close door. So I think we're going to pull out an order here. I thought we would be. No, okay. It's just gonna bop into the side of me. Whoop. Okay. Right, so don't worry, the frame rates will pick up as soon as we start moving away from the station. Oh, there's pedestrians now. I don't remember there being pedestrians before. Okay. So we can see the command unit up ahead. We're probably going to the railway station, which is just on the other side of us here. Oh, I can't actually see the flames. Oh, 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 there's a person in the middle of the road. Um, okay. That was a bit suspect, to be fair. Okay. So it looks we took good avoiding action here. Um, still not seeing where the fire actually is. Yeah, here we go, it's the place where we expected. So the police are on scene and they have cordoned off the building. So we'll follow the engine unit through and we're going to bring ourselves to a a good rescue point which will probably be here. So it's a nice level surface and we've got a wee bit of scope to uh, to get the um to get the ladder fully deployed. So everyone's on scene. Let's go. Right, okay, let's just, um, okay, right, we've arrived at the scene actually, so as soon as I got it up. Um, okay. So, use the left stabilizers. Oh, they're coming out further than I thought. Mm, it's fine, it's fine, they're still, they're still stable, that's fine. Okay, right stabilizers, so let's get the DLK set up. Just take over the control of the crane. Oh yeah, this is the one where it doesn't. Yeah, it, the the menu goes up too high. So let's just not smash off the lights and let's try and not whack the ladders off the bonds of the people. Although that might not be avoidable in this case. Okay, right, let's just extend the ladder. And one of them's been pushed into the back of the ladder. That's fine. 
Oh, there's actually an interface on it now. Okay, the basket's on the ground. And we'll just we'll just extend it a little bit. So the firefighter's in position, he's now on. And we have to steer him into the right position. So I actually think he's potentially too close to the flame, so I'm gonna retract the ladder. Because we don't we don't want him to hark it. That would be most terrible. Um, so what we'll do is we'll bring him over here and we'll let him start firefighting. Yes, okay, perfect, right, fine. So is the, is the hose going? No. Why is the hose not going? Does it need to be higher? I can make him go higher. Okay, tell you what, tell you what, let's, let's, let's just change person. So we'll go to F5 and F1, here we are. Okay, so we can kind of just about see it for the ladder, but we're getting this fire under control. Might be easier if we go first person. Okay, so it looks like most of the flames are out, but we've still got quite a lot of smoldering material, so what we probably want to do is get it all under wraps. Oh, that's, a, that, that's, no, we don't want any more flames kicking off. In fact, we are starting to see some flames, flames erupting again, especially over there. Let's just target that with some water. There's quite a lot of smoldering material that needs to get put out, so... We'll just keep the water in these areas for a while. Um... Okay. Okay, we've got a better angle at this, so let's just start getting the bits under control. Uh oh, fire's starting to erupt again. So it looks like they've actually started integrating the um, the the fire simulation into the cars, but because I also found before that the um, the calls were actually fairly static. Like once you put out, uh, like if you put out a bit of a fire and then walked away and left it for a while, it would. Um, that that would be it. The fire wouldn't like spread again. But we, we could see there definitely there were a few times that it was actually reigniting. So that is very potentially a good sign. So as soon as the basket gets put down, like so, we can leave. Correct. Um. So we'll go ahead and stole. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the pines. Right, okay. Sorry, buddy boy. So we'll go stow our um, our jet, and then we'll get off this stuff. So the machinist is lowering the appliance off the stabilizers. And we're going to shut it all up. Excellent! And that is going to be us. So, um, we'll say that we're ready to respond via radio. Not that it makes a difference, even though it should make a difference. And then, as it is midday, it, doesn't, it looks pretty dim for midday. But yeah, um, we're going to head off back to base. So, I'll come back for one more call out. Right, okay, guys, we've got a new call. I've gone the wrong way. Okay.
boost effect. I don't know what that one is. And um, we've got most of the company turning out to a fire. Um, a private sm well, it's a private smoke alarm that's been triggered. Now I know in testing, and I'm sorry that I couldn't show you this, but um, in testing, oh, um, en route to scene. Um, in testing, I got a smoke alarm which went off at one of the shops. Like during the Not Off One One Two series, we quite often see false alarms at the shops, but this time it was a fire alarm. And it wasn't a false alarm. It was an actual fire in the supermarket. And I, oh, okay, fine. We're just smashing it in that car. So the AI hasn't improved too much. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I had to go pick up my socks from our side of the room. I blew my socks off. And they actually have call variability. It's great. Um, And I bet you having said that, wait, where's the, where's the command truck? Oh no, it's there, it's just not quite spawned in. So I bet you having said that, we're going to come in and it's just a false alarm. Because that, I mean, that's a perfect possibility. Okay. We can at least hear the alarm this time. Okay. Um, where is the breathing apparatus? Nope, we don't believe in that. Um, okay, so breathing apparatus is in this one, in this appliance. So we'll pick up a respirator and we'll pick up the Uligan Duel. Uh, can we pull this out? No, we can't. Okay. Right, so I'm in charge of whapping the building upside the bonds. Ah, I've got the wrong place. Okay, so this is the building. no sign of smoke. No sign of any fire. Wait, why, why, why is there a window? Okay, I think that's kind of a borked place for that. Um, so the kitchen, there's no fire in here. It's a turlet, no sign of any fire. Bedroom, no sign of any fire. So it is unfortunately a false alarm. So after after me kind of doing the hype, um, yeah, it turned out to be a false alarm in the end. But that, quite often, is the way that it is in the real world of emergency services. So we'll get our respirator put back up. And this wasn't a full app, why well, can't I actually select the thing to go back? There we go, push in the base compartment. Okay, yeah, this wasn't a full episode, so I'm gonna call it there. So, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a quick, impromptu little episode of Not Off 112 to make up for the fact that it was a very short video from Airport Firefighter Simulator. So, I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!